This is Jim Emter, Van Otten Company, Alexander, Minnesota, with the closing grain and livestock comments for April 1st, 2021. Corn market, front month May down four and a half, December up seven, beans down 34 and a quarter uh, off the uh, May contract, up seven and a half off the November. Chicago wheat down seven, Minneapolis down 13 and three quarters, Kansas City down 10 and three quarters. On the week, corn up seven and a quarter up front, beans up only one and a half cents, but November had great performance this week. Chicago wheat down two and a quarter, Minneapolis down around that 17 cent mark, and Kansas City down three and a quarter. When you look to uh, the big news this week, obviously a little bit of rain forecasted for North Dakota possibly next week. Brought a little sell pressure to Minneapolis wheat. Otherwise, besides that, it was a big crop report, a bull crop report. Here we got 91.44 million acres, 87.6 in soybeans. Uh, that first one was a corn one. And you're looking at uh, potential price counts upwards of 497 and 524 as your next counts in corn, 1283 and 1440 for November beans. Uh, so the new crop orientation, that's where the push is right now. You're seeing some liquidation up front as some of that interest has moved out to a longer term, potentially bull market, but spring weathers look to be favorable and that brought some sellers here to close out uh, in front of a three day weekend. So happy Easter to all. Feeder cattle steady to uh, up 90, uh, live cattle up, or excuse me, down 95. Um, when you look to the hog market, we were up 72 and a half there. On the week, we saw feeders down 125, live cattle down seven and a half cents and the hog market up 97 and a half. Cash undertones for cattle, 117 to 118 live base, 184 dressed. Cutouts very strong all week. Uh, exports were good, and we just kind of hover around these higher ends. Feeder cattle did take a little bit of hit as a result of the crop report. Hog index right now around 99, cut out strong, and exports were a record this week. Uh, for the year so far, exports off the charts, China's still a buyer, and that's helped this hog market try to work its way towards these 114 price counts. This has been Jim Amateur, Van Onnen Company, Alexandria, Minnesota, trading in futures and options. It involves risk of loss and is not suitable for all producers. Past performance is not indicative of future results. This is a solicitation. Have a great afternoon.